And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Anivia Rush. Going to be our next donation deck today. This deck's very similar to your zombie Anivia deck. We're going to be a control deck with Freljord and Shadow Isles. Our champions being Thresh and Anivia. Of course, Thresh, when it levels up, can go put an Anivia into play. But with our top end, instead of necessarily only focusing on Anivia and Anivia dying and bringing it back, we are also going to have Feel the Rush in here. This amazing Freljord card. Um, putting both these champions into play is great. Putting them both in as 10-10s, even better. You know, Thresh with the Challenger being a 10-10 really good and of course it tutors up our anivia and gets it into play so yeah we're gonna be going with our control deck with that as our top end we got ruination um avalanche withering will grass the undying vengeance you know lots of removal and a good amount of frostbite with two harsh winds and two flash freeze or sorry three flash freeze so the uh decks that have big units like maybe against other field of rush decks we're gonna have a good amount of frostbite as well one ledros being just an extra win condition in there to finish the game off, and that's what we got going on. So let's go ahead and play our five games with Anivia Rush. We're gonna call this version of Anivia. All right, let's set up the prediction for those of y'all here on Twitch. All right, so we're playing against Fiora Aurelian Soul. So Fiora Dragons. Um, feel the rush definitely going to be good. I think I'm actually going to keep all of this because normally you don't want to keep a 12 mana card, but I think that we can considering we have like some good things to play early anyway. I like it. I, I like this hand. We already have stuff for the first few turns. We'll just make sure that we have feel the rush for later. We were forged in dragon fire. In Avarosa's name. Yeah, looks like looks like Targon is really popular today. We're six for six with Targon decks. For the homestead. We do look like we are set up pretty well against dragons. With all these uh, frostbite cards. No Maybe I should be using the troll chant. We'll see if that comes back to bite me. I kind of just didn't want my thresh to take any damage. I want Ruination to be able to do more. If, if they would have played something pre, you know, I was, I was gonna uh, have it so like if they played something pre-combat, I had uh, Ruination, but with them not playing anything pre-combat. Shuffling the Anivia back in for my Field of Rush. And they, they can keep on not playing anything if they want. Alright, they got more and more 
Dragons. Not gonna make it easy on them. Darn. Time to reflect. So they use a good amount of mana where they don't get to play like an Aurelian Soul here. A new era begins. Man, another <laughs> another Eclipse Dragon. Uh that card's really good. And I, I need one more mana, so I control chant ruination. Here in your time of need, I will endure. Tomorrow we rise anew. Hmm. It's a difficult game to navigate. Okay, okay. Definitely considering just playing Field of Rush. Yeah. No, no rekindlers in here. Okay, that was the worst decision I've ever had. <laughs> that hurt you and you weren't even playing? Yeah, that hurt. Oh, another Targon deck, but not really an Invoke deck, thankfully, for the first time today. Um, man, that hurt. That's just the... That's the perfect card against Field of Rush. Nine mana, obliterate both units you just put into play. How do I deal with Starspring in this deck? I don't think I do. And like a Nivea attacking could just help them with doing like that little bits of damage. Like the two damage to all their stuff, like that could help them. I thought that was a really good use of the Vile Feast. And I know I'm not uh, not being able to cast Catalyst of Aeons that turn, but I thought that was a really good use of Vile Feast. If I kill you, I don't fart you. The other good use of Vile Feast is getting rid of a Bastion. I'm just going to kill the Soraka right now. Wow. Okay. Well. That that makes up for that last game a little bit. Okay, finally playing against Gohard. Hadn't seen that yet today. And for the first time with our seventh match, our opponent is not playing Targon. So that's interesting. I, I really like the Withering Whale. We're going to mulligan the Vengeance. Uh, I like these other ones, though. Ideally, we get to play Catalyst on turn three, but I'm not sure if, if we will. We may have to play the Averroes and Sentry here on turn two to block. There's nothing to fear. If I play Sentry next turn, they only have... If I play Sentry here, they only have four mana next turn. And four mana is like the worst amount of mana to have. But I do get to block this 2 2. I want to play it. Up there. I'll spot him. We could use a bite. What 
What will you have? Yeah, that's that's how um, Masters Rank works. Is it's it's a it's a random number number somewhere between like fifteen to twenty that you gain per win, depending on like your rank, your opponent's rank, like that kind of stuff. And then and uh, same with the loss, you the lose elite. somewhere between fifteen to twenty. Something for all. I can't really pass, and then they pass. I just need to kill Twisted Fate. Ugh. Glimpse Beyond, you're so good. The dead don't need riches. Glimpse Beyond, you're so good. So next turn, 7 mana, so I'll have Vile Feast plus Whale or Catalyst. Where do you stand on cold shots? From the darkness. It's. I don't know. I don't know like how much like the expansion will really you know mess with the metagame and stuff. And so like the question is like how will Ledros control be? I, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know. We'll have to kind of see what happens. I, I don't know what's going to happen with the metagame. I don't know. So young. So young. So we're taking damage two turns? For Gangplank? Three turns. For Gangplank. So I can go Catalyst. And then next turn, either Field of Rush or Ruination. If I play Tavern Keeper, then I don't get to feel the rush next turn. My only option would be Ruination. Okay, I kind of like their Ruination being gone. I pull the strings. Try this. None of these things are that valuable as far as ruination is concerned. There's plenty of killing left. Hold on to Ruination. A new era begins. Ah, took the Thresh from my hand. That's too bad, so that we basically just didn't draw a card this turn. Okay, I like both of those getting burned.
Wow. That's great. No, go hard. All right, you can block. I will endure. You block you, you block you, Let's you block you. you. That'd be four things dying. So that's good for Thresh. No. Perfect. And Thresh doesn't die to Packer Bags, but I don't I don't think that they are quite at Packer Bags right now anyway. Be nothing left when I'm done. Mm. I guess I didn't didn't worry about powder keg go hard. Powder keg packer bags. Didn't have anything to kill like Nivea last turn. No. Well, that didn't work out too good for me. Ledros. Well, I want to play Ledros. I think I think the best thing to do is just to simply attack first. Make sure that we're getting that attack in. Because I assume that we get the Anivia ability with this attack. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. One side of ruination. And good thing we didn't play Ledros first, because they would have just killed the Thresh. Frostbite that thing. Keep it down. Ooh, good draw. Good draw. Get that Nexus health back up a little bit. I need more Come on in. Feel pretty good about this. I guess they're back up to 12, though, with them healing that third... I have I have eleven damage. Cool. That works out the best for me. That's their Ledros not dying, and that's my Ledros dying. That is just the like the best possible thing that could happen for me. I, I didn't I didn't want their Ledros to die. I didn't want to put it back in their hand and have that be able to drain two again. Alright, I'm just gonna do this because again I don't I don't wanna kill their Ledros. And I don't really need I'll, I'm gonna wait on Flash Freeze. So 
Please no Doom Beast. I really hope they don't have the third, a third, you know, hopefully that's not another go hard. So, okay. So no Doom Beast, no go hard, please. Okay, good. Alright, now as long as they don't have... I don't know why we... Like, why even attack with the Nivea? I don't know. Okay, it doesn't matter. There we go, GG's. Until our paths cross once more. You hate Gohard so much? I don't really mind it. I don't mind it. Playing against it again. I honestly don't really like playing against the Invoke cards. <laughs> you know, I'd kind of rather play against Gohard than the Invoke cards. The Invoke cards, like, the games just take... They take so long and, and there's so many choices, everything. Like, it's... You can't play around all the Celestial... You just can't play around everything. It's real difficult. All right, we'll get rid of those two. Keep our champions. I like both of these, Avalanche and Catalyst. Gonna go ahead and avalanche. Eh. So I don't need an avalanche. Yeah, this is probably a better catalyst of Aeon's turn. Oh, I hear them. That's probably a better catalyst of Aeon's turn. Okay, we're gonna get this thresh in play, because maybe we can, you know, kill a whole bunch of things. And get Thresh leveling up. There's one thing dead. One out of six. I was hoping for, like, you know, another 2-1 for my Withering Whale. <clears throat> but an 0-3 is easy to challenge with Thresh. They're probably not passing turn, right? They're probably attacking. So we're at 1 right now. It's going to be 2, 3, 4... I block and it's five, then I block and then they can kill Thresh with a go hard. I probably don't block. Vengeance still kills Thresh, but... Okay. Still force them to have Vengeance. Alright, this will level up Thresh. So now our, our other Thresh that we have in hand will be leveled up. Okay, we both have five cards in hand, but we got a 3-3 a three, three in play. We're still at 19. They've played two Go-Hards right now, I believe. 
See the Nevastian border from here. Here in your time of need. Don't prepare for the next kill! I protect this place. Hmm. So I can block the other way around, doesn't really matter. Alert the village! Ooh, harrowing's kind of cool. Harrowing's kind of cool. Are they going to have ruination? Ideally, I want to play Thresh right now. Maybe just pass them and let my Anivia level up. Cool. I will take leveled up Anivia. I really hate this Ledros that everybody's playing. I really hate this Ledros. And hopefully, let's see. Yeah, we have not had Anivia die. Hopefully this pulls the Anivia from the deck and not the one from the hand, because I want to keep this Harsh Winds. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. From the deck, please. Thank you. Just help out harrowing. I do like that they don't get to play Ledros again this turn. So I've had two Anivias die. Those are like the biggest things that I've had die, right? Oh no, I had a Thresh die. Yeah, I don't play harrowing right now, so no, we just pass. A new era begins. The harrowing would just be playing, you know, one in Nivia. Heal my Nexus for three. And we're going to attack for 17. I bring the storm. Does it make sense to... Does it make sense to play Harrowing now? It's bad against Ruination, playing Harrowing right now. But... Anything else, they're dead. The thing is, like, if I attack right now, they could just have, you know, like, a Vengeance, a Withering Well. They can have, like, tons and tons of cards to stay alive. If I play Harrowing, they have to have Ruination to stay alive. I think they've only played two Gohards, but I guess maybe they've played three, and then a Pack Your Bags would be... Would give me also. Okay, yeah, it's only been two Gohards. Because those were not Pack Your Bags. So yeah, they, they had Withering Wheel, which would have kept them alive. But if I would have gone if I would have gone to open attacks, they would have stayed alive. But now they do not. Alright, GG's. Three and one. Until our paths cross once more. 
Okay, playing against some deep. I always like Thresh in the deep deck. I always thought was, that was pretty good. What do we want to keep against deep? Do we just want like ramp feel the rush? I think the deep's gonna be a bad matchup for us. I think this is gonna be a bad matchup for us. I think that they can go faster and more over the top than Anivia. Then you have uh, Riptide, Nautilus's champion spell, which is just fantastic against Anivia. Yeah, and you have the obliterating with the 7-7 seven, seven that obliterates. I would love for them to draw Absorb Soul. I don't know why they just tossed Absorb Soul to draw that card. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I'm not going to cast Avalanche yet. It's two dying for Thresh. I, I just have to hold on to Vengeance. For Nautilus. Thresh is always so good. So now we'll have Avalanche or Withering Whale to finish off Thresh. Let's go with the Avalanche so that they open attack. I can Withering Whale to kill Abyssal Eye. We can have Field of Rush next turn now if I save two spell mana, you know, two additional spell mana. Perfect. All right, so I just played Withering Will, nothing else. Could have done that salvage in response to my withering will, and maybe they hit jettison jettison and went deep. So this would be unleveled up Anivia at 1010, so next turn when Anivia levels up would be 1111. If they pass to me, do I just not attack? If they pass me and do nothing? Okay, well that's not gonna be... Not gonna really be an option. So they can have the obliterate fish if they obliterate the thrash. I'd rather them obliterate thrash than obliterate Anivia. So that's why I had the thrash challenge instead of the other way around. Eleven ten, Anivia. All right, so this is a regular harsh winds. That one's Anivia's harsh winds. The 
chill before the storm. I protect this place. I'm gonna go with that. I don't want that. I don't want them to have you know like another devourer depth takes down my Anivia, anything like that. But yeah, we can see like this. It's gonna be a slow process killing them with Anivia for sure. They're just getting rid of everything. Three cards left. Blood and salt. So the thing is they should have another they should have another Nautilus. Snow, wind, and ice. Which is the problem. They're gonna other oh, Nautilus Riptide my Anivia. They did not, that's great. That's great news. This is our time. Oh, Anivia only comes back as a 3-5? <laughs> All right, well, I guess Feel the Rush isn't the best with Anivia, then. Into the darkness. Um. Like, Vengeance can take down the, the Devour Adepts. We know they have another Devour Adepts in their deck for, like, one that they toss, they put back in. But, you know, it's like, we know that they have, like, two more. Cool. I was kind of expecting that. The Freljord's eternal guardian. All right, so they only have one more Nautilus. Uh, okay, I, I wasn't really worried about atrocity. The yeah, you can find all of my decks here. So we're gonna find all the decks that we're playing today, and just all the decks that we play in general. So they haven't played any of their Maokais yet. Now they do play their Maokais, they will be leveled up. I, I'm still don't. Even though I killed all the Nautiluses, I still don't really feel confident in, in winning. I don't know if I can just defeat sea monsters. Not a great hand, but um, I don't have to worry too much about milling out because I do have my extra Nivea. So that's good. I can harsh winds and put an Anivia back. What will you have? So they should have one more Devourer. I think one more Devourer is going to obliterate my Anivia. But you know, I need to keep on... Keep on attacking and try to get 14 damage across. I 
Another sentry? I don't I don't need another sentry. And so life springs anew. A new era begins. Okay, that, that's cool. That's cool. Because they need to they need to like replay their Maokai's to put more cards back into their deck. The seeds awaken. Hmm. Three mana burst. There's probably no chance they. Wow. They let it die. I was gonna say there's no chance they let it die. I'm definitely casting harsh winds. We're gonna harsh winds the tear of the tides. The option is either take seven, go to six. No, I guess they are. They still could have like another atrocity. I guess we just let this Conley Tower and Keeper die. That was the the main question: is do we let the Conley Tower and Keeper die or not? They gave up. Maybe they maybe they don't have another Maokai. Maybe they just have the oh. Even if they do have another Maokai. Okay, so I think I know what happened. I think the very last card was the other Maokai, right? Like I think that was the last card because they tossed everything else. So that's why they couldn't play the Maokai's champion spell before. I'm just kind of used to them having three Maokais in their deck, but remember they're playing the Thresh version, so they already had that Thresh that died. So I already killed the four Nautilus, I already killed the Thresh, so whenever I Vengeance their Maokai, and their last card is the other Maokai, they don't have that champion spell, so that was their last card. So they weren't gonna, you know, they weren't gonna be able to play another card and get another card there. So um yeah, like us yeah, they, they were gonna die for just drawing their last card. With them having the, the Thresh version there. Wow. All right, that's a 4-1. So the vengeance the vengeance draw was the perfect draw. That vengeance killed the Maokai before they drew their second Maokai for the the Maokai champion spell. Um so in perfect times and then and then the Anivia harsh winds kept us from dying and also put the Anivia back in so we had one extra card than them. <laughs> wow, what an incredible game. All right, so there we go. There's a Nivea Rush. I'm not sure if this deck is better than the regular Zombie Anivia deck, but it's got it's cool. It's a little bit different. Feel the Rush is still really powerful. Now we saw there that whenever you have your Anivia die after you feel the Rush, it's not going to go back to being a 10-10 anymore because it's dead and it comes back. So I guess it's kind of treated as like a new object that's coming back into play, and so therefore is just going to be the three five. Well, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and please leave those comments. I always love seeing those comments. I know I say this every video, but I really do mean it. So please leave those comments. Um, yeah, I can't can't uh, stress that enough. But thank you so much for watching also. I really appreciate that as well. And I will see you for the next video. Have a good one.